Okay, to start, you're just gonna take your tank top that you chose, you know, any shirt that you really like the neckline of that, that would be easy to trace. Um, I just chose a cotton tank top. And as you can see, I'm starting, you know, three or four inches down from the top um, of the fabric where the strap is going to connect uh, front and back. And I'm making the width of my straps about three and a half inches. And this is for the front. I'm gonna make the back just a little bit smaller as you'll see later when we connect it. I want them to tuck inside each other to make it reversible. So what I'm doing is for the neckline, I just traced the front and I went down about 14 inches um, on that scoop of the neckline. Now I'm doing the underarm here as I'm tracing this and all I'm doing is I'm sliding my tank top down as I go. Um, I'm doing about 18 inches from the top of the fabric down to make that scoop that's going to go under the arm, if that makes sense. So then I just flip my tank top over and I'm going to now make that scoop go up. And so I'm going to trace that back up. And if you look at the drawing I have of what the apron looks like, the pattern of it when it's all laid out, it'll make more sense. As you can see now, it's folded in half and this is just going to be you know one side of the apron that i'm doing so i'm double checking my measurements here to make sure that my straps are three and a half and three inches and i'm marking that so i've done the neckline scoop i've done the underarm scoop and now i'm just going to draw an angle or a, a line coming down from the strap this will be the back of the apron and I'm just going to draw this down um, to the inches that I, I want the length of the apron to be. And so for me, for my length, I made it about uh, 40, 40 to 42 inches long. And so I'm about five foot nine. So if you don't want it as long as mine is, of course, just make it shorter. Um, if you would like it longer, I almost wish I'd have made mine just a little bit longer. Um, you can make it longer. So what I'm doing is I'm just drawing a pretty much straight line uh, down. I'm going to start curving at the bottom as you can see. And also I think to make this neater, I'm going to go ahead and measure down on the folded side and I'm going to mark where the bottom of my apron is going to be. And then I can easily uh, match up that curve to the length of the apron. And you know you don't have to overthink the curve I mean it's just you could you could even make it square if you wanted the back to be closed a little bit more that's something I maybe would have done a little bit differently maybe I wouldn't have curved it so much and I would have made it kind of cover my bottom a little bit more um, but it's up to you that's the beauty of making your own pattern if you don't like it you can just redo it so you can see I measured over and now I'm just matching that curve Also, I just used a pencil for this. They make fancy markers that you know can be easily wiped off. You could use a washable marker or you can buy one of those special ones. I just had a pencil handy and so that's what I used. This is just for my pattern. And you know, I'm just using an old sheet here. You could use an old tablecloth um, or anything you have, just a scrap piece that's of fairly good size. I, I like to save old sheets, ones that are otherwise worn out or the kids have gotten marker stains or whatever on. Um, and I just keep them for doing things like this, for making my own patterns or whatever else I might need a large piece of fabric for um, that I won't feel bad if I mess up. So now I'm just cutting this out and that's pretty straightforward, just cutting out my pattern now.
And so here's the pattern all laid out. You can see uh, those straps there that I'm straightening. Those are gonna cross in the back and connect to the front of the apron. So I'm just gonna pin it all together and try it on to see if I like the way it fits, um, to see if I want this to be my final pattern.